hey spark lovers welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to i just uh, thought of uh, doing some uh, study re uh, review on some short stories that i have read recently so these are some of the short stories that was um, r recommended us to uh, read for our post-colonial sri lankan literature module for my BA in English. So I thought of just uh, do some reviews on uh, my channel because just in case if you uh, have like uh, anyone who is interested in reading uh, short stories from post-colonial Sri Lankan literature. So let's get into the video. So this is the first short story that I'm going to talk about. Uh, this is kind of a brief um, introduction or a review because I don't want to do a very uh, analytical uh, review on this. I just uh, do uh, what I uh, feel and uh, what my point of view on this uh, short story. So, And also you can share your own thoughts if you have read this uh, the same short story. Uh, in the comment section down below i really appreciate your ideas also so let's uh, get into the video so this is the first short story i uh, chose to uh, do the review that is the high chair by sita kulatunga so um this short story is really um focused on those time that there was the uh, caste system the upper caste and the lower caste caste the people be belongs to uh, those um, you know um, people were recognized by their uh, job that, uh, that they did for their living so uh, the main character in this story is prema uh, so her family uh, washed as others clothes because those time uh, they don't have those washing machines, all those things at home. Uh, in Sri Lanka, there were some people uh, who washed the upper caste people's clothes as a living, as their job. And they get uh, some uh, minimum wages were paid or uh, they were paid by they were given some rice or something that sort of thing as an exchange so that is how that uh, lifestyle that the thing was uh, had happened in that period in sri lanka so um so as i told you prema belongs to the lower caste because they are they are pa her parents her family they uh, washed upper people's upper caste people's clothes as they are living but prema uh, is very educated and now she is selected to the university the same university that uh, the upper class people's children studies so in the same village there's a boy named tilak who studies at the same university that prema studies but the, uh, the prema and tilak belongs to the younger generation they break that barrier that um, is uh, divided as the lower caste and the upper caste they have divided that barrier between uh, them so in the final uh, so uh, the story is going like that and uh, the Prema's mother is called Redinanda, the woman who washes the clothes. So, um, but uh, Prema happens to wash uh, Tilak's um, clothes one day. Um, so, which is really disgusted, disgusting thing for her, but she has to do it. And though her mother hesitated that she don't have to do them and she can do that. But uh, she uh, somehow washed the clothes and bring that to uh, Tilak's home. And uh, 
tilak uh, so prema but uh, she um, she was so afraid to see uh, tilak and he recognized her but he act normally there's no difference he totally act normally and uh, so in that period as prema belongs to lower caste uh, there was the, this thing that uh, in other at other people's uh, home which is especially uh, people which belongs to upper caste there was this policy that they don't offer a chair to a to someone who belongs to lower caste there's no way that um, a lower caste um, people can sit on a chair it is something that is uh, very uh, it's kind of a rule and very ashamed of and no one is um, dare to offer a chair and there's this thing that uh, those people uh, it is not a thing it's not a, um, it's not what they belong to they belong on the pavement or on they are just only allowed to sit on the floor not on a chair chairs are belongs to the people from upper class or the upper caste so uh, people from um, lower caste like prema don't deserve a chair at the end of the story which is i really like this uh, twist this um, sudden and like this ending a uh, surprising ending here tilak uh, says do sit down take a seat here prema came up to the table she stood holding the high back of the chair running her fingers over its crowded edge do sit down take a seat tilak says to that's why i told you this is the new younger generation and tilak is offering a chair to prema now the barrier is broken by tilak the new the new the younger generation so they don't care about the caste or us Uh, something like that at uh, on the other hand they are from the same university despite from the caste prema and tilak are uh, educated as same and that's why prema also selected to the university she has passed the university entrance exam just like tilak and they are studying at the same university despite of their caste so there has nothing to do with the caste or the class or things like that it is something that is uh, created by uh, those people at that uh, time lived in sri lanka which is very futile and there's nothing to do with that these are all are same and uh, we can't just divide people uh, from the uh, things they do as they are living we can divide uh, you are doing a great uh, very uh, recognizable and very uh, good job and you belongs to upper class and still there are something uh, in our society the society we live but there's nothing to do with that because everyone uh, plays a, um, plays an important role in the society when we get uh, talk about the uh, people who sweep the uh, pavements and all those things do cleaning as they are living imagine uh, if there was uh, nothing to uh, there there's nothing to uh, find uh, someone to do that job what will happen so we can't uh, divide people based on their caste or class based on their appearance or based on what they do as they are living we can't just divide people uh, into classes 
they all plays an important role in the society so we have to respect each other we are all same people and the true class and caste is based on the humanity that we have the way uh, how we treat other people if we you if we don't have any humanity within us we belongs to the lower caste if we have uh, humanity and we feel uh, others pains and we respect others and give a uh, respect uh, to other people and uh, recognize them as uh, important people in the society so how beautiful is that so this uh, short story is something that we can discuss deeply about those caste and class system that was uh, on that time period of sri lanka as well as we can just relate them in to the nowadays the present society as well so um, i really like the ending because tilak is like um, breaking the barrier uh, so they are newer generation they are younger generation and they break the barrier between them so let me know that you have have you uh, read this a uh, short story and um, if so what are your thoughts what are your uh, ideas about this this uh, short story i would love to know that so and uh, if you enjoy the video please like and comment and share among with your among your friends and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and support my channel thank you so much have a nice day